Hi guys, it's Mac Million. Thanks for stopping by for this episode of In the Dark Room with Mac Photo, where today we've got some extra special guests uh, here with me today. We have Javier Hernandez with Inline Photography and Kenny Rowland with Kenny Rowland Photography. And together we're collectively Miami Photo Mafia. So today we're going to walk you through kind of a coffee table discussion of some necessities when traveling and some of our pet peeves maybe. So to get things kicked off, we're going to open up the discussion about some of the things we find that are our necessities, things we have in our bag when traveling, things we want to make sure that we have on hand when shooting. So guys, what are some of those things that you've got to have on hand when shooting? Well, sometimes I kind of bring a camera with me so <laughs> an iPhone, right? Yeah. I mean, I say that as a joke as far as sometimes bring a camera because sometimes um, people actually go out to an actual photo shoot and they bring out their camera, they bring out their lights, and they just go out there and just shoot. Sometimes I don't even bring a camera. I don't bring lights. I don't bring anything because I want to go out there and see what the location is going to be at. Same, right. Sometimes I'll just kind of like make it look like a pinhole type of thing. I'll just look through a little circle in my my hands or make a little circle and look because that's kind of like the image that I'm going to get because right. I might set up everything and take a picture and it's like oh this is crap I just wasted 15 20 minutes setting up this whole thing and the image looks like crap you right. know like Absolutely. composition doesn't work the lighting just not working for it so sometimes I'll look at the location just scout out what I might see or what I might like then once I'm there it's like okay I got the sun coming over here I got shadows over here I got this so now I'm going to need this light I'm going to need a reflector I'm going to need an assistant I'm going to need something so Kind of look at your actual location, look at what you're actually going to shoot for, what idea you have in your head, then kind of scout out the area. Once you got it, okay, now you know what to look for. Now you know what to bring to the actual shoot. Absolutely. And, you know, that brings me back to mind when I was shooting weddings. I would always visit the location the day before the wedding to get an idea of exactly. where were the ideal spots to actually set up for the bridal shoot or shooting the couple or for the first looks. I wanted to have that mapped out the day before the actual wedding. So, absolutely. Kenny, what are your thoughts? I think one of the most important things to bring is yeah. extra batteries. Extra batteries. <laughs> not to I pick on anybody, I but I have, I have showed up to places and not had batteries, and <laughs> I'm kind of screwed. I can't not do a you. shoot. It has happened. <laughs> Me, a long time ago, some other people more recently. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to mention any names. Any names. But uh, when you show up and you don't have batteries, you're kind of, whatever the piece of equipment needs that battery, you either have to borrow it or you're going to have to um, do without. And uh, it's always better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. I can't tell you how many times I've only needed a speed light for a very short time or some light for a very short time, but I bring 16 AA batteries because you never know. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, memory cards. I have shown up to a shoot with no memory cards. You? I, I have had to drive. I have had to drive by Walgreens. I had to drive by Walgreens. You heard it here first. <laughs> yes. I had to drive by Walgreens to pick up the cheapest memory card they had, and do a shoot on that, and go really slow until I got my assistant to go get another memory card. It has happened before, people. It will happen to you too. <sighs> From a history of shooting we weddings, I always keep a backpack. Of course, my cameras. I uh, always keep a speed light in the bag just in case. Uh, if triggers aren't working or if there's a lighting malfunction somewhere, I always have a speed light I can uh, pull out if needed. But uh, my preference is usually a, a two light setup. I think we'll do some walkthroughs uh, during this episode and I'll show you my usual two light setup. But other than that, uh, same things mentioned, batteries, uh, checking out the locations, I couldn't agree more before wasting your time setting up and pulling out gear, checking out the location, really getting an idea of what your composition is going to be for the shot. It's happened to me before that mm -hmm. I've gone to location, I liked it, I set up all my lights and everything, did the entire shoot. Mm -hmm. First couple shots I did, and I was like, 
nah, I wasn't liking it. Did a couple more things, messed up with the lights and everything. And then come to find out, I took my trigger off. I shot everything natural light. So I brought all this equipment and I thought I needed all that stuff. Sometimes right. you don't. Sometimes right. you might just start off with like the simplest thing. Just get out there, take a picture. You might like it. Then add some lights and then take a picture. You know what? I'm actually liking the natural better. Right. You know, so sometimes it, it works both ways. I mean, you could take out equipment and, and set it up. Sometimes you might do a natural light. It actually looks better. Right. Or maybe for the feel that you're getting, it might be better. It's almost the same conversation we have about Photoshop. Right. Just because you know Photoshop doesn't mean every picture needs Photoshop. Just because you right. have lights and all this gear doesn't mean you always need it. Absolutely. Sometimes you have the biggest light out there, which is the sun. Perfect segue to our next topic. What are your pet peeves when, when it comes to photo shoots and post-processing? Yeah, you know? so check out that next video <laughs> on the next one. For right now, <laughs> Ken McMillan. All right. Javier Hernandez. Kenny Rowan. Take care. Get out there, get shooting, make every shot count.